The Testament of Yehuda, Judah. The copy of the words of Yehuda, what things he spoke to his sons before he died. They gathered themselves together, therefore, and came to him, and he said to them, Hearken, my children, to Yehuda, your father. I was the fourth son born to my father Yaakov, Jacob, and Leah, my mother, named me Yehuda, saying, I give thanks to Yahuwah, because he has given me a fourth son also. I was swift in my youth, and obedient to my father in everything, and I honored my mother and my mother's sister. And it came to pass, when I became a man, that my father blessed me, saying, You shall be a king, prosper in all things. And Yahuwah showed me favor in all my works, both in the field and in the house, knowing that I raced a hind, and caught it, and prepared the meat for my father, and he did eat. And the rose I used to master in the chase, and overtake all that was in the plains. A wild mare I overtook, and caught it, and tamed it. I slew a lion, and plucked a kid out of its mouth. I took a bear by its paw, and hurled it down the cliff, and it was crushed. I outran the wild boar, and seized it as I ran. I tore it in asunder. A leopard in chevron leaped upon my dog, and I caught it by the tail, and hurl hurled it on the rocks and it was broken in twain. I found a wild ox feeding in the fields, and seizing it by the horns, and whirling it round and stunning it. It was cast from me, and slew it. And when the two kings of the Canaanim came sheathed in armor against our flocks, and much people with them, single-handed I rushed upon the king of Hatsor, and smote him on the greaves, and dragged him down, and so I slew him. And the other, the king of Tapuak, as he sat upon his horse, I slew, and so I scattered all his people. Akor the king, a man of giant stature, I found hurling javelins before and behind as he sat on horseback. And I took up a stone of sixty pounds weight, and I hurled it and smote his horse and killed it. And I fought with this other for two hours, and I clave his shield in twain, and I chopped off his feet and killed him. And as I was stripping off his breastplate, behold, nine men, his companions, began to fight with me. And I wound my <clears throat> garment on my hand, and I slung stones at them, and killed four of them, and the rest fled. And Yaakov my father slew Baal Asaph, king of all the kings, a giant in strength, twelve cubits high. And fear fell upon them, and they ceased warring against us. Therefore my father was free from anxiety and wars when I was with my brethren. For he saw in a vision concerning me that an angel of might followed me everywhere, that I should not be overcome. And in the south there came upon us a greater war than that in Shechem. And I joined in battle array with my brethren and pursued a thousand men and slew of them two hundred men and four kings. And I went up upon the wall and I slew four mighty men. And so we captured Hatsor and took all the spoil. On the next day we departed to Eratan, a city strong and walled and inaccessible, threatening us with death. But I and Gad approached on the east side of the city, and Reuven and Levi on the west, and that were upon the wall, thinking that we were alone, were drawn down against us. And so my brothers secretly climbed up the wall on both sides by stakes, and entered the city while the men knew it not. And we took it with the edge of the sword. And as for those who had taken refuge in the tower, we set fire to the tower, and it took both it and them. And as we were departing, the men of Tapuak set upon our spoil, and delivering it up to our sons, we fought with them as far as Tapuak. And we slew them, and burnt their city, and took as spoil all that was in it. And when I was at the waters of Kozebah, the men of Yovel came against us to battle. And we fought with them, and routed them, and their allies from Shiloh we slew, and we did not leave them power to come in against us. And the men of Mekir came upon us the fifth day to seize our spoil, and we attacked them, and overcame them in fierce battle. For there was a host of mighty men against them, amongst them, and we slew them before they had gone up the ascent. And when we came to their city, their women rolled upon us stones from the brow of the hill on which the city stood, 
And I and Shimon hid ourselves behind the town, and seized upon the heights, and destroyed the city also. And the next day it was told us that the king of the city of Gaash, with a mighty host, was coming against us. I therefore and Dan feigned ourselves to be in Morim, and as allies we went into their city. And in the depth of night our brethren came, and we opened to them the gates, and we destroyed all the men and their substance, and we took for a prey all that was theirs. And their three walls we cast down, and we drew near to Themna, where all, <clears throat> where was all the substance of the hostile kings. Then being insulted by them, I was therefore wroth, and rushed against them to, to the summit. And they kept slinging against me stones and darts. And had not Dan my brother aided me, they would have slain me. We came upon them, therefore, with wrath, and they all fled. And passing by another way, they besought my father, and he made peace with them. And we did to them no hurt, and they became tributary to us. And we restored to them their spoil. And I built Thamna, and my father built Pabael. I was twenty years old when this war befell. And the Canaanim feared me and my brethren. And I had much cattle, and I had for chief herdsmen, Iram, the Adulami, and when I went to him, I saw Parsaba, king of Ad Adulam. And he spoke unto us, and he made us a feast. And when I was heeded, he gave me his daughter, Bathshua, to be my woman. She bore me Er, and Onan, and Shalak. The two of them Yah Yahuwah smote. For Shalak lived, and his children are you. And eighteen years my father abode in peace with his brother Esau, and his sons with us after we came from Aram, Naharim, from Lavan, And when eighteen years were fulfilled, in the fortieth year of my life, Esau, the brother of my father, came upon us with a mighty and strong people. And Yaakov smote Esau with an arrow, and he was taken up wounded on Mount Seir. And as he went, he died at Adon, Adon Ram, And we pursued after the sons of Esau, now they had a city with walls of iron and gates of brass, and we could not enter into it, and we encamped around and besieged it. And when they opened not to us in twenty days, I set up a ladder in the sight of all, and with my shield upon my head I went up, sustaining the assault of stones, upwards of three talents weight. And I slew four of their mighty men, and Rovin and Gad slew six others. Then they asked from us terms of peace, and having given counsel with our father, we received them as tributaries. And they gave us five hundred cores of wheat, five hundred baths of oil, five hundred me measures of wine, until the famine, when we went down into Mitzrayim. And after these things, my son, Er, took to be his woman, Tamar, from Aram Naharim, a daughter of Aram. Now Er was wicked, and he was in need concerning Tamar because she was not of the land of Canaan. And on the third night an angel of Yahuwah smote him, and he had not known her according to the evil craftiness of his mother. For he did not wish to have children by her. In the days of the wedding feast I gave Onan to her in marriage, and he also in wickedness knew her not, though he spent with her a year. And when I had threatened him, he went in unto her, but he spilled the seed on the ground according to the command of his mother. And he also died through wickedness. And I wished to give Shalak also to her, but his mother did not permit it, for she wrought evil against Tamar, because she was not of the daughters of Canaan, as she also herself was. And I knew that the race of the Canaanim was wicked, but the impulse of youth blinded my mind. And when I saw her pouring out wine, owing to the intoxication of wine, I was deceived and took her, although my father had not counseled it. And when I was away, she went and took for Shalak a woman from Canaan. And when I knew what she had done, I cursed her in the anguish of my soul. And she also died through her wickedness together with her sons. And after these things, while Tamar was a widow, she heard after two years that I was going up to shear my sheep and adorned herself in bridal array and sat in the city and Naim by the gate. For it was a law of the Emorim that she who was about to marry should sit in, sit in fornication seven days by the gate. Therefore, 
Being drunk with wine, I did not recognize her, and her beauty deceived me through the fashion of her adorning. And I turned aside to her, and I said, Let me go in unto you. And she said, What will you give me? And I gave her my staff and my girdle and diadem of my kingdom and pledge. And I went in unto her, and she conceived. And not knowing what I had done, I wished to slay her. But she privily sent my pledges and put me to shame. And when I called her, I heard also the secret words which I spoke when lying with her in my drunkenness. I could not slay her, because it was from Yahuwah. For I said, Lest happily she did it in subtlety, having received the pledge from another woman. But I came not again near her while I lived, because I had done this abomination in all Yasharel. Moreover, they who were in the city said there was no harlot in the gate, because she came from another place, and sat for a while in the gate. And I thought that no one knew what I, what I had gone into her. And after this we came into Mitzrayim to Yosef because of the famine. And I was forty-six years old, and seventy-three years lived I in Mitzrayim. And now I commanded, command you, my children, hearken to Yehuda, your father, and keep my sayings to perform all the ordinances of Yahuwah, and to obey the commands of Elohim. And do not walk after your lusts, nor in the imaginations of your thoughts, in haughtiness of heart. And glory not in the deeds and strength of your youth, for this also is evil in the eyes of Yahuwah. Since I also glory that in wars no comely woman's face ever enticed me and reproved Reuven my brother concerning Bilhah, the woman of my father, the Ruach oath of jealousy and of fornication arrayed themselves against me until I lay with Bath Shua, the Canaani, and Tamar, who was a spouse to my sons. For I said to my father-in-law, I will take counsel with my father, and so will I take your daughter. And he was unwillingly. But he showed me a boundless store of gold in his da daughter's behalf, for he was a king. And he adorned her with gold and pearls, and caused her to pour out wine for us at the feast with the beauty of women. And the wine turned aside my eyes, and pleasure blinded my heart. And I became enamored, and I lay with her, and transgressed the commandment of Yahuwah, and the commandment of my fathers. And I took her to be my woman. And Yahuwah rewarded me according to the imagination of my heart, inasmuch as I had no joy in her children. And now, my children, I say unto you, Be not drunk with wine, for wine turns the mind away from the truth, and inspires the passion of lust and leads the eyes in the error, for the ruach of fornication has wine as a minister to give pleasure to the mind. For these two also take away the mind of man. For if a man drink wine to drunkenness, it disturbs the mind with filthy thoughts leading to fornication, and heats the body to carnal union. And if the occasion of the lust be present, he works the sin and is not ashamed. Such is the inebriated man, my children, for he who is drunken, drunken reverences no man. For lo, it made me also the heir, so that I was not ashamed of the multitude in the city, and that before the eyes of all I turned aside unto Mar, unto Tamar, and I wrought a great sin, and I uncovered the covering of my son's shame. After I had drunk wine, I reverenced not the commandment of Elohim, and I took a woman of Canaan to be my woman. For much discretion needs the man who drinks wine, my children, and herein is discretion in drinking wine. A man may drink so long as he preserves modesty, but if he goes beyond this limit, the ruach of deceit attacks his mind, and it makes the drunkard to talk filthy and to transgress and not to be ashamed, but even to glory in his shame and to account himself honorable. He that commits fornication is not aware when he suffers loss and is not ashamed when put to dishonor. For even though a man be a king and commit fornication, he is stripped of his kingship by becoming the slave of fornication. As I myself also suffered, for I gave my staff, that is, the stay of my tribe, and my girdle, that is, my power, and my diadem, that is, the glory of my kingdom. And I indeed, I repented of these things. Wine and flesh I ate not until my old age, nor did I behold any joy. And the angel of Elohim showed me that forever do women bear rule over king and beggar alike. 
and from the king they take away his glory, and from the valiant man his might, and from the beggar even that little which is the stay of his poverty. I observe, therefore, my children, the right limits in wine, for there are in it four evil ruachoth, of lust, of hot desire, of prof profugacy, and filthy lucre. If you drink wine and gladness, be modest in the fear of Elohim. For if in your gladness the fear of Elohim departs, then drunkenness arises, and shamelessness steals in it. But if you would live soberly, do not touch wine at all, lest you sin in words of, words of outrage, and in fightings, and slanders, and transgressions of the commandments of Elohim, and you perish before your time. Moreover, wine reveals the mysteries of Elohim and men, even as I also revealed the commandments of Elohim and the mysteries of Yaakov my father to the Kenanith woman Bathshua, who Elohim bade me not to reveal. And wine is a cause both of war and confusion. And now I command you, my children, not to love money, nor to gaze upon the beauty of women. Because for the sake of money and beauty I was led astray to Bathshua the Kenani. For I know that because of these two things shall my race fall into wickedness. For even wise men among my sons shall they marry, and shall cause the kingdom of Yahuda to be diminished, which Yahuwah gave me because of my obedience to my father. For I never ceased grief to Yaakov my father. For all things, whatever he commanded, I did. And Yitzhak the father of my father, bless me to be king in Yasharel. And Yaakov further bless me in like manner, and I know that from me shall the kingdom be established. And I know the evils you will do in the last days. Beware, therefore, my children, of fornication and the love of money, and hearken to Yahudah your father. For these things withdraw from the Torah of Elohim, and blind the inclination of the soul, which teaches arrogance, and suffer not a man to have compassion upon his neighbor. They rob his soul of all goodness, and oppress him with toils and troubles, and drives away sleep from him, and devour his flesh. And he hinders the sacrifices of Elohim. And he remembers not the blessing of Elohim. He hearkens not to a prophet when he speaks, and resents the words of righteousness. For he is a slave to two contrary passions, and cannot obey Elohim, because they have blinded his soul, and he walks in the day as in the night. My children, the love of money leads to adultery. Because when led astray through money, men name as Elohim those who are not Elohim, and it causes him who has it to fall into madness. For the sake of money I lost my children, and had not my repentance and my humiliation, and the prayers of my fathers, my father being accepted. I should have died childless. But the Elohim of my fathers had mercy on me, because I did it in ignorance. And the prince of deceit blinded me, and I sinned as a man in his flesh, being corrupted through sins, and I learnt my own weakness while thinking myself invincible. Know therefore, my children, that two Ruach oath wait upon man, the Ruach emeth, the Ruach, and the Ruach of deceit. And in the midst it is the Ruach Bina of the mind, to which it belongs to turn wherever it will. And the works of truth and the works of deceit are written upon the hearts of men, and each one of them Yahuwah knows. And there is no time at which the works of men cannot be hid. For on the heart itself have there been written down before Yahuwah. And the Ruach Emeth testifies all things and accuses all. And the sinner is burnt up in his own heart and cannot raise, raise his face to the judge. And now, my children, I command you, love Levi, Levi, that you may abide and exalt not yourselves against him, lest you be utterly destroyed. For to me Yahweh gave the kingdom, and to him the priesthood, and he set the kingdom beneath the priesthood. To me he gave the things upon the earth, to him the things in heaven. As the heaven is higher than the earth, so is the priesthood of Elohim higher than the earthly kingdom unless it falls away through sin from Yahuwah and is dominated, dominated by the earthly kingdom. For the angel of Yahuwah said unto me, Yahuwah chose him rather than you to draw near to him 
and to eat of his table, and to offer him the first fruits of his of the choice things of the sons of Yasharel. But you shall be king of Yaakov, and you shall be amongst them as the sea. For as on the sea just and unjust are tossed about, some taken into captivity, while some are enriched. So also shall every race of men be in you. Some shall be impoverished, being taken captive, and others grow rich by plundering the possessions of others. For the kings shall be as sea monsters. They shall swallow men like fish. The sons and daughters of free men shall they enslave. Houses, lands, flocks, money shall they plunder. And with the flesh of many shall they wrongfully feed the ravens and the cranes. And they shall advance in evil, in covetousness, uplifted. And there shall be false prophets like tempests, and they shall persecute all righteous men. And Yahweh shall bring upon them the vision, one against another. And there shall be continual wars in Yasharel. And among men of another race shall my kingdom be brought to an end, until the salvation of Yasharel shall come, until the appearing of the Elohim of righteousness, that Yaakov and all the other nations may rest in peace. And he shall guard the might of the kingdom forever. For Yahweh swore to me with an oath that he would not destroy the kingdom from my seed forever. Now I have much grief, my children, because of your lewdness and witchcrafts and adulteries which you, which you shall practice against the kingdom, following them that have familiar spirits, diviners, and devils of error. You shall make your daughters singing girls and harlots, and you shall mingle in the abominations of the other nations. For which things sake Yahweh shall bring upon you famine and pestilence, death and the sword, beleaguering by enemies and revilings of friends, the slaughter of children, the rape of your women, the plundering of possessions, the burning of the temple of Elohim, the laying waste of the land, the enslavement of yourselves among the other nations, and they shall make some of you eunuchs for their women, until Yahweh visit you. With a perfect heart you repent and walk in all his commandments, and he bring you up from captivity among the other nations. And after these things shall a star arise to you from Yaakov in peace, and a man shall arise from my seed like the sun of righteousness, walking with the sons of men in meekness and righteousness, and no sin shall be found in him, Yahusha. And the heavens shall be open unto him to pour out the Ruach, the blessing of the Kodesh Father. And he shall pour out the Ruach of grace upon you, and you shall be unto him sons in truth, and you shall walk in his commandments first and last. This branch of El Elyon and this fountain, giving life unto all. Then shall the scepter of my kingdom shine forth, and from your root shall arise a stem, and from it shall grow a rod of righteousness to the other nations to judge and to save all that call upon Yahuwah. And after these things shall Abraham and Yitzhak and Yaakov arise into life, and I and my brethren shall be chiefs of the tribes of Yasharel. Levi first, I the second, Yosef third, Benjamin fourth, Shimon fifth, Yishakar sixth, and so all in order. And Yahuwah blessed Levi and the angel of the presence, me, the power of glory, Shimon the heaven, Reuven the earth, Yishakar the sea, Zebulun the mountains, Yosef the tabernacle, Benjamin the luminaries, Dan Eden, Naphtali the sun, Gad the moon, Asher. And you shall be the people of Yahuwah, and have one tongue, and there shall be there no ruach of deceit of Baal, for he shall be cast into the fire forever. And they who have died in grief shall arise in joy, and they who are poor for Yahuwah's sake shall be made rich. And they who are put to death for Yahuwah's sake shall awake to life. And the deer of Yaakov shall run in joyfulness. And the eagles of Yasharel shall fly in gladness. And all the people shall glorify Yahuwah forever. Guard therefore, my children, all the Torah of Yahuwah. For there is hope for all them who hold fast unto his ways. And he said to them, Behold, I die before your eyes this day, one hundred and nineteen years old. Let no one bury me in costly apparel, nor tear open my bowels. For this shall they who are kings do, and carry me up to Chevron with you. And Yehuda, when he had said these things, fell asleep.
and his sons did according to all he had commanded them, and they buried him in Chevron with his fathers.